video, I'm going to show you how to work out the area of shapes. So the area is just the space here inside the shape. So in the first example up here, we've got a square. So all the sides are of equal length. That's what these dashes mean here. All the sides are exactly the same length. So to work out the area of any square, what you have to do is multiply the base, so this length here, by the height, which is this one, which is also 4. So for the first one, we're just doing 4 times 4, which is 16. And the units for area are always squared. So because this length is in centimetres, our units will be centimetres squared. So that's the answer to the first one. Okay, here we've got a rectangle and the formula to work out the area of a rectangle is exactly the same as for a square. We have to multiply the base, so this length here, by the height, which is this one just there. So it's just 8 multiplied by 3, which is 24. And again, the units are squared, so we've got centimetres squared. Okay, now, here we've got a triangle. So the formula is different now to work out the area of a triangle. We multiply the base by the height, but we also have to divide the answer by 2. So for this one, well the base is 12, the height is 4, and then divide the answer by 2. So 12 multiplied by 4 is 48, and if I divide that answer by 2, I get 24 centimetres squared. Okay, so remember when you're working out the area of a triangle to always divide by two. Okay, now, up here we've got a parallelogram, which is really, it's like a wonky square because these two sides are the same length and so are these ones and these are parallel, okay? So when you see the arrows, it means this line is parallel to this one and this one is parallel to this one. So to work out the area of a parallelogram, it's just like for a rectangle. It's base times height. So the base is 11 here. And the height, you have to make sure it's the perpendicular height. So this is the perpendicular height. So in fact, we don't need that length there of the diagonal when we're calculating the area of a parallelogram. So we're doing base times height again. So it's just 11 multiplied by five, which is 55 not forgetting the units centimetres squared. Okay, here it's very similar to a parallelogram. It's called a rhombus, okay, if you don't know how to spell that. Okay, so here we've got a rhombus. So it's just like a square, but slanting to the side. So it's a wonky square. So all the sides are the same length, and then these two lines are parallel, and so are those two. So the formula is exactly the same, Okay, it's just base times height. And remember, it's the perpendicular height, just like when we did this one here in the parallelogram. So you're just doing three multiplied by two. Okay, and don't forget the units, which are six, and this time it's in meters, so it's six meters squared. Okay, now here we have a kite. And to work out the area of a kite, well, you can see it's kind of two triangles put together. So it's like this formula over here. To work out the area of a kite, it's just the base or the width, if you like, multiplied by the height. So it's just like for a triangle. So I'm just going to leave it as B times H over two. We'll call this length the base here, and this is the perpendicular height. So you're just multiplying seven by 10, but dividing that answer by two. So seven multiplied by 10 is 70, and 70 divided by two is 35, and it's centimeters squared. Okay, I've got a few more coming up. shape up here, this is called a trapezium. So it's a four-sided shape and it has one set of parallel sides. So to work out the area of a trapezium, it's a little bit more difficult to remember this one. You have to add together the parallel sides and I'm going to call those A and B. And then you have to multiply by the height and then divide all of that by two. 
So when you add the parallel sides together, make sure you add both of them together before you multiply by the perpendicular height. So you need to put them in brackets and then you can divide by two. So in this one, well, A is four and B is six. The height here is three and then I must divide by two. Well, four plus six gives me 10 and 10 multiplied by three is 30. And then if I divide all of that answer by two, I get 15. Okay, not forgetting the units which are centimeters squared. So you're adding together the parallel sides, so working that out. Then you're multiplying that answer by the perpendicular height, which is 30. And then you always divide by two. Okay, so that's the area of a trapezium. Now here I have a circle. So the formula for working out the area of a circle is a equals pi r squared. So pi, it's an irrational number and it's approximately equal to three. And r is what we call the radius, which is the distance halfway across the circle. So it's this distance here. Well, if this diameter is 12, half of 12 is six. So the radius in this circle is six centimeters. So to calculate the area of this circle, I do pi multiplied by six squared. So this time you're going to use the calculator. So you need to type in pi, multiply by six squared, and that gives me, and I'm going to round to three significant figures, which is 113 centimeters squared. Okay. Okay, so that's the area of just simple shapes. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to work out the area of compound shapes, which look a bit like these ones here. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. And that's all from me for today, so goodbye.